You can use Apple's Motion program to create dynamic title effects that can be stored as master templates for easy use from within Final Cut Pro. Click on the text tool and type a title in the canvas window. Navigate over to the inspector window and click on the text and layout tabs. Change the alignment to center. Click on the transform tool to position and scale your title. Go ahead and adjust the size and location of your title directly within the canvas window. To adjust the color of your title, click on the style tab. If you like, you can choose from one of the pre-built gradients. Activate the timeline window by using Command 7. At the top of the screen, click on the Add Behavior button and choose Text Animation, Sequence Text. Click on the Behaviors tab within the Inspector window. Within the Sequence Text behavior, add the parameters that you want to adjust. In this case, I'll add some parameters for an outline. I'll add color, blur, and width parameters. Then I'll make some adjustments. I'll set a blur value of 10 and a width value of 8. Then I'll change the color of the outline to a bright yellow. Adjust this sequencing parameter to get the soft outline to travel through the letters. If you want the soft outline to travel through more letters, you can specify this in the spread parameter. To change the speed of the behavior, adjust this purple behavior track. Trim the title track out to the number of seconds that you'd like to use for your template. Okay, that's it. Check it out. The last step is to save a template. Choose Save as Template from the File menu. If this is your first time creating a motion template, you will need to create a new theme. Then give your template a name. Apple Motion will then take a few minutes to render the template. Once that's done, you can move right over to Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro, you will find your template in the Generators menu under Master Templates. Selecting your template will place it in the Viewer window. You can now make changes to your template by clicking on the Controls tab within the Viewer window. You can now use this template over and over again to maintain a constant look for your show. Depending on your computer's processing speed, you may need to render the final effect to see it play smoothly. For other great tips and tricks like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro or Motion Training course, visit GeniusDV.com.